So, you know, now you also have um, this trial that was released uh, that got a lot of press at, 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 at the AUA and ASCO, and, and, and it's called the Charter Trial. Uh, Ganesh, can you walk us through the Charter Trial a little bit? Yeah, sure. So the Charter Trial was a, really a landmark trial in investigating the impact of using chemotherapy with ADT uh, in patients who had uh, hormone-naive hormone metastatic prostate cancer. And it really sort of goes against, or in many ways, goes against what all of us have done for the longest time, which is someone walks in the door with metastatic disease, we give ADT. Once that fails, then you give chemotherapy. It really challenged that notion from the get-go and said, would these patients actually benefit from giving chemotherapy up front uh, co in co concert with ADT? And what they did was, uh, again, in this long, landmark trial that really lasted uh, over, a, over a decade or so, was to, to look at uh, survival in these patients. And they found that patients with high volume metastasis uh, who received AD plus docetaxel concurrently uh, did better, uh, and in fact, remarkably better. So if you can look, you can look at these uh, uh, these Kaplan-Meier survival curves, and it really is uh, really is remarkable. Again, if, t take this in perspective. Compare these to the the landmark trials from 2003, 2004 with docetaxel alone and metastatic prostate cancer, Petrolac et al. Uh, and uh, in Tannic at those days. And how about the incremental improvement in survival of two months was a New England Journal of Medicine paper. And now look at these survival benefits here. We're talking almost like 13 months, 17 months here with the, with docetaxel plus ADT. Really a game changer uh, for patients with who walk in the door with metastatic disease in, in the chemo-naive setting. So I think what this really does is set the stage and really changes what we as urologists are going to have to offer our patients when they walk indoors, particularly those with high volume metastatic disease. How are we going to utilize this and incorporate this in our practice? Many of our practices are not equipped to give chemotherapy. We haven't been trained formally for many of us to, to do chemotherapy. How do we incorporate this? I think it's sort of things that we, us as a group are trying to figure out. Uh, but I think there's no doubt that the data really is striking. And again, particularly these are patients with high volume metastatic disease. Uh, the the p-values were much less significant for men with low volume disease, but perhaps with larger studies and more uh, that those are also turn um, positive as well. So I do really think this is really, if anything, one of the biggest studies in, uh, in, in the past few years in prostate cancer showing a, a drug that all of us have used, we're very familiar with for a long time, docetaxel, but using it, it the, the timing and the sequence mattered. Yeah, and, and, and I think it's important for the viewers to, to understand, you know, as you pointed out, that these are patients with, who present with metastatic disease who have never been on hormones. You know, these are not, these are not our CRPC patients. And, I, you know, one of the things that I get worried about is the interpretation of this trial and how people will extrapolate this data. Mm -hmm. And there's obviously a lot of people will say, oh, we just don't see that many of these patients anymore. I, I mean, we, I have, we have friends and colleagues that say, well, that number is going up. Well, right. you know, that, that depends upon your market, depends upon whether, you know, you have a big African-American population or Hispanic population that may not access the system as much. So Brian Ganesh makes a great point in terms of if we are going to, and I think we should all want to practice evidence-based medicine, I think it will be interesting to see what the AUA and NCCN mm -hmm. comes up with guidelines. They're going to have to amend their guidelines. But if we practice evidence-based medicine, if somebody comes into your office at Oregon Urology, metastatic disease, hormone naive, Moving forward, how are you going to adjust your business model, your delivery of care, again, with the concept that we all want to have our groups practice integrated care, integrated medicine, how are you going to adapt to this? Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, a game changer kind of study, like Ganesh was saying. I think it's in, uh, powerful data of how patients did better. I think it, most people were kind of surprised at the outcome of this trial. But then I also struggle with it, too. I think the study started to enroll in 2006. Well, the whole world of advanced prostate cancers changed while the study got started and while the data was enrolling. So now you have all these other advanced therapeutics for prostate cancer that didn't exist when they were enrolling in that trial. You know, I, I'd like to hit the reset button and do the trial again with the, with the therapies that are available today, which, of course, won't happen. So, you know, if you're sitting down with that patient who's probably your less than 5% of prostate cancer patients who presents hormone-naive metastatic, you have to talk about it. I think you have to tell patients this is an option for chemotherapy. I still think chemotherapy, you know, with my patients, still has that aura of, oh, my gosh, I don't want chemo. I mean, 
you, you could give me this oral medication instead or just hormone therapy. I mean, it's, it's a difficult conversation. But the data is the data. Absolutely. I mean, the data is the data. And again, if we are going to stand by the fact that we want to continue to be the purveyors of prostate cancer, localized and advanced, again, my question is, how are you going to, because again, if, if we're going to treat advanced prostate cancer, there still is a role for chemotherapy oh, in the management of those patients. Absolutely. So are you going to hire your own?